called the math lady. Today we're working on lesson 22, which is called multiple fractional factors, which is a fancy word for we're going to be multiplying fractions more than two. <laughs> okay? All right, take a look at this one. 3 fourths times 7 ninths times 48 over 52. Now, of course, we could easily multiply across the numerator, multiply across the denominator, and then try to simplify. That's a whole lot of multiplying. So why don't we try to simplify first and then multiply? All right, let's look for some factors. Well, here's an easy one, 48 and 56. We know 8 goes into both of those, right? 8 goes into 48 six times, and 8 goes into 56 seven times. All right, do you see anything else? I see tons. I see 7 goes into 7, so they're down to 1 there. I see 3 and this 9 here. And I see 4 and a 6. 2 goes into both of those. And... And we're still not done. We've got a three and a three here, one and one. Woo! All that work, it turns out our answer when we multiply is really just one half, right? One times one times one, and two times one times one. It's that simple. Okay, so when you're multiplying, look to reduce, and then multiply across. Now, what happens when we are multiplying two things but then dividing another f fraction at the end? What do you do? Well, if you remember when we would divide fractions, we have to multiply by the reciprocal. So let's rewrite this. 12 over 21 times 8 over 30. We're going to make this a multiplication side, and we're going to take the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2. And now we can go ahead to reduce. Okay, so let's see. Where should we start? How about 6 goes into 12 two times, and 6 goes into 30 five times? 3 goes into 3 one time, and how about 21? That means a 7. We've got a 2 and an 8 here. And is there anything else? I don't think so. So let's do it. F uh, 2 times 4 is 8. And we've got a 7 times a 5, which is a 35. And 8 over 35, that's your answer. So name of the game here is when you're dealing with division, make sure you change that division sign to a multiplication sign and take that uh, fraction and turn it to its reciprocal. Everything else is just the same at that point. Look for factors that you can simplify, then multiply across. That's it. Quick lesson. <laughs> All right, so call the math lady. I'll see you in the practice set. Take care. Bye-bye.